So what, you're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, baby. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Making bang. Making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Card here. I want to welcome you guys to a special NBA 2K24 video. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but today is the embargo lift for all creators that went to NBA 2K's community day for NBA 2K24. Now, in today's video, we're going to be reacting to a video from Boom Boom. I'm not sure if you guys know who Boom Boom is, if you aren't familiar with who she is. She runs work with me. She runs park with me. She is a... Uh, dope creator as well as uh, a little too compy sometimes we've been in tournaments together as well as i've been in tournaments against her it's it's a thing but you know what i'm saying she's she's a part of ikc nation she's doing her thing she went to community day uh living it up right now doing dope things and since she played nba 2k24 early we gonna react to her video all right, so y'all see the title above. Uh, it says, I play NBA 2K24 early, NBA 2K24 Community Day Gameplay Recap, plus Defense OP with the <gasps> emoji, with the little fire emoji. So let's, let's go ahead and see what Boom got to say. In 2K24, if you don't got no stick skill, I don't want to hear you complaining on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitch to your mama. No complaints. Whoa, hold on. Is she talking about me? Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your girl, Boom, and I am back. Do you anything new that's going on? Huh? What, what's, what's new with you guys? Oh. Stop trolling me. Oh, oh, my shirt. Yeah, your girl went to community day last weekend. And when I say I have so many things to talk about when it comes to gameplay, NBA 2K24, my experience, mm -hmm. everything, I got so much stuff to talk about. But first, y'all see the new day, right? But boom, boom, we are in the building. But boom, mm -hmm. boom, on all platforms. So if you have anything, everything, but boom, boom, make sure you go follow me. We're going to have a lot of things and a lot of copies of nba 2k24 to give away so make sure you hit whoa you heard that follow but boom boom y'all want something free i know i know free 99 is a, is the a thing you know what to do hit that follow button hit that subscribe button turn on the post notifications to make sure you don't ever 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 miss out on any of the notifications <laughs> and the news that we got going here because we are dropping a lot of information from community day so make sure you stay tuned on that note though if you guys did not know i was invited to community day and boom why are you showing off your height i was why are you showing off your height and the news that we got on that note though if you guys did not know i was invited to Boom, boom, you bought five, six. To community day. And man, when I say it was an honor, it was an honor. Shout out to NBA 2K for flying me out to have me uh, get this content for you guys early and give you my thoughts and impressions on what the game has to offer gameplay wise, builder wise, everything. But in this video, this video right here, we're talking about Scare NBA 2K24 me. gameplay. So let's get right into it. Now, I'm not going to lie. NBA 2K24 has a lot to offer. There's a lot of things that you guys are going to see in the game that you're not familiar with off rip. But I'm going to tell you, like I tell everybody, when you get your hands on the game, I'm telling you it's imperative for you to take your time with everything on this game. Hold up. I think I might be in her way. I think it's. Oops. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <gasps> hey, boom. What's up? <laughs> this game is skill based. It is all about skills. Your stick skills are going to show. So if you were not that great at the game and you're expecting to go into 2K24 with that 2K23 mindset and be able to cheese everything, I guarantee you at this point, 
you're not all right you're not get that out of your head come okay. with a totally different new mindset when it comes to 2k24 okay in 2k24 oh she's if you don't got no stick skill i don't want to hear you complaining on twitter on facebook on instagram on twitch to your mama no complaints i do not want to hear anybody that has no stick skill complaining to the devs in general asking them to nerf defense take the time that you guys need to learn everything that's in the game i need you to take the time to learn it because there's going to be a learning curve to this game especially if you spent your time the last couple years on current gen but it will be a learning curve so do not be alarmed if you suck off rip don't worry <laughs> when you get the gameplay on friday and you see what happened with doomies and, and, and tiller and people who are known to shoot then you know what i'm talking about so let's get right into my oh. impressions of the game i have shots fired shots fired shots fired did the shooters not shoot huh Huh? Quick matches going on in the background so you can guys can see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to certain aspects of this game. First off, the thing that I will tell you, off rip, defense will take skill this year along with the offense. Let me explain. As you guys know, I'm going to talk about the defense because that's my bread and butter so you know <laughs> I'm about to be out here giving you exactly what you need in order to be effective defensively. The defense this year in NBA 2K24 is so much more responsive, but there's a caveat to that. So yes, it's more responsive. You're going to feel more control on defense, but you have to understand that there is a, like a double contest system within the game this year. All right. Double you have contest your body system. body contest. Okay. And you have your hand contest. Okay. So when it comes to paint play, you can't just stand straight up a lot of times and expect guards to miss, especially as they become more familiar and good with skill moves like scoop layups, euros, floaters. A lot of times you'll get moves like the miss, I ain't gonna especially lie. as Hold they on. become more familiar and good. That 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 new banner. That new banner. That this new this new this new whole banner right here fire fire it's giving me real nba vibes and it looked like i'm gonna have to go green screen man like if this band are gonna be here all the time most of the time i might have to go i might have to go green screen for my videos or put the box up here somewhere to to keep away from the banner mm, okay. with skill moves like scoop layups euros floaters a lot of times you'll get a good body contest but your hand is not where it needs to be so you'll see more of the yellow type contest notice how shaq's green window is completely full jesus as he catches the ball, changes as the defender moves his body and changes his arm position with the block attempt so the skill this okay. year is really going to down to on defense in the paint knowing when to jump and being in good position to or in order to get a good contest it's also going to mm. come down to your strength if you're in a movable force in the paint with that badge as high as you can get it a lot of times especially if people don't have the proper attributes to keep up and be able to finish effectively in the paint they're going to get pushed off their spot now okay. on the perimeter there is going to be a difference between a bumpy lock and a speedy lock as I stated, okay. defense feels way more responsive this year, so you're able to keep up with the ball handler from left to right from what we've played, as well mm. as try to beat them to spots to blitz the ball. In the example above, you have a player like Sid Coulson, who is a faster player. She's able to finesse her way through screens to be able to speedily, quickly change directions from left to right in order to keep up with the ball handler. As opposed That's not to someone bad. like Clay Thompson, who is a bigger defender, who's not as fast, but knows how to effectively keep the body on the ball handler. So mm, again, mm, cookies. Year, you're going to be able to see the difference between the two. The defense really, really feels good. It feels way more responsive than it was last year. And you really can tell the difference. Um, If you don't have strength on the build, trust and best believe. If you go up against somebody like a Black Cobra who has a build that's a post score with a lot of strength, 
even if you have good stick skills, if you won't got no strength, my guy, if you out here weak, <laughs> if you're weak, my guy, I'm telling you, oh, no. if you're weak, <laughs> no strength, my guy, if you my out guy. here weak, weak, if you're weak, my guy, I'm telling you right now, they're going to bulldoze past you in the paint and yam on your head. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you how it is, man. Put strength on your build. You can tell the difference when you don't have strength, especially in the paint. Okay. When it comes to defense, too, I felt there were times, like, even when I didn't have a lot of defense, I was able to do things effectively. Again, we'll see how that really plays out. And I know there was times where I was playing. You don't see it in this footage here. But when I was playing against the computer and a lot of times where I would reach in the backcourt with no defense, baby, especially if they were fast, I was not catching up. De'Aaron Fox, I was not catching up with him. If I reached on him and missed... I was not catching up. So, again, it feels rewarding in terms of what I was able to play. It's really going to be a chess match. Now that we got the defense out the way, let's talk a little bit about the offense. Okay. Low out dribbles feel fantastic. Oh, my God. Beat somebody up the court. I feel like, again, too, it's a risk-reward type of thing. You can use the blowout dribble to get a lot of good speed and momentum to get further away from defenders, especially if they're reaching in the backcourt. But two, you have to be careful coming up the court. I've, there's a couple times that I've been able to blitz ball handlers who did a blowout dribble close enough to me as a lock, and it pops the ball up. With the different styles and the okay. different player types, because again, John Moranth is an athletic bulldozing guard. Steph Curry is a finesse shooting guard. You can definitely tell the difference in those types of builds. Okay. Dribbling in 2K24 really feels like 2K19 type dribbles where you have your dribble combos when you flick this right stick up you have the one-to-one -one moves and i take this with a grain of salt because i'm not a dribbler but i feel you're still able to speed boost out of moves it's just not as it was in 2k23 it's going to be more of the 1920 type of feel based okay. on some of the dribblers i played with i feel like there's going to be a variety in different moves that are going to be effective this year but for a full dribbling breakdown i would suggest going to somebody like fanta dooms or double h to get kind of the full breakdown for it because i'm not a glitchy dribbler post scores yo what i just saw in that play he just dog curry like he, he dog dribbling breakdown i would suggest going to somebody like fanta dooms or double change h to direction get kind of the straight lay for it because i'm can't, not a glitchy can't help. dribbler Post scores are going to be crazy with the amount of space that they're able to create. There's some crazy combinations that you can come up with. I can't wait to get more time with just dribbling and movement and animations to really see what combinations are going to work well with others. The passing feels fantastic. There's times hey. I was able to do like a scoop oop to Shaq. You can really tell the difference in the pass. Oh, like that's well fire. Chat, that's fire. Hold on. That's that's fire right there. Hold on. 0.25 on that. Passing feels fantastic. There's that scoop, yeah, that scoop lay fire. A different animation looks nice. Like a scoop. That looks nice. Ooh. Yeah. That looks that looks nice right there. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that. Motherfucker, bro. Damn, Astros, man. My bad chat ran into a little technical difficulty my headset just died in the middle of me watching the scoop lay up it was too fire it turned the whole headset off what you can really tell the difference in the past speeds if you don't got no thumbs on d be ready to get that ball thrown at your face you're gonna set your big up to get yammed on i'm telling you right now be better on defense because the offense it can definitely keep up with what you have Shooting to me felt good. Even at lower attributes, I was able to hit consistently open. I think that will only improve as people find jump shots that will have good range.
Chat. 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 You have. Shooting to me felt good. First, first off, maybe one step into the three point Even line. Lower attributes. Green. That was able to hit consistently open. Off the screen. Moving. I think that will only. Beyond the arc. Only improve. Beyond the arc. As people find jump shots. Green. When we talk about fading. And everybody's like, yo, Mike Wayne said fading is gone. It ain't, it ain't going to be there as much. That looked pretty easy to me. Have faith. All you faders out there. Have faith. Yes. That's will have good ratings. 2K18 type mid-range fades feel great. Shot creators are definitely back this year, especially from the mid-range. So I would suggest look into using step back spin jumpers faders from the midi because they will be effective. Even two on offense, the skill moves are back and they definitely take skill to pull off. There was a couple times that I was able to hit like a walk back type of move. Um, oh, 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 confirmed, confirmed. Walk BZ, the walk BZ, hold on. The pull off. There was a couple times that I was able to hit like a walk back type of move. Um, but the green window to time it was crazy. <laughs> it okay. was super, super small. So wall bikes are still definitely in the game. There's so many different skill moves that the offensive player. Ooh, shit. That joint sped up crazy. Hold up. Walk backs are back, but it's going to take, it's going to take a different level of like being locked in to hit that walk back. Cause that. That joint sped up crazy, and it, and it looked like the defender wasn't even there. Are still definitely in the game. There's so many different skills. That's green. Green. It went straight to red. He didn't even move. He didn't even move, and it went to red. And you got a bounce back. It's a player has at their disposal. So if you were used to not only fading, but switching up spin jumpers and things like that within your build, this year you're really gonna be good at creating that space. Now in terms of quick stops and things like that, I was not able to do a quick stop even with Curry um, shooting. So I think you're gonna have to rely more on your skill moves in order to get open. But with better dribblers, this dribbling feels a lot like 2K19 where you have your rhythm dribble in the front and then you can have your flick skill moves. So you have your crossovers, your hesitations, your step backs, your hot backs, your behind the back. The wide Kobe behind the back is back in the game. There's so many offensive moves that they can do to combo together. Then like Uncle Demi said, I don't think you're gonna need the quick stop as much. But again, we couldn't change any animations. I don't qu think quick stops are really a thing in this 2K, but with the amount of space you're able to create, I don't think you're going to miss it as much. Time will tell if there's an actual quick stop animation in the game once we have full access to it. Now I'm just gonna take some. All right, so all you dribblers out there that love to quick stop behind screens, off of going left, right, this may still be somewhat of a fading year for you until you can figure out where that animation is, if, it, if it's still even in the game. I mean, if she's saying that she can't quick stop even with Curry, even though she can't change the animations, like you really didn't have to have too many set animations in order to do a quick stop. So maybe it's over forever. Quick stop. Sometimes to answer some of the questions that you guys have for me directly and kind of give my impressions of what the game felt like. This was a great question. How is the lighting? Does it looks better than 2K21-23? I think this game this year in terms of graphics wise looks amazing. I think the movement of your, <laughs> shout out to iPod, the stitching on the jersey looks fantastic. I think the player facial. That motherfucking stitching. I be telling y'all man, get with the stitching. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the motherfucking warehouses with the manufacturers making them jerseys and feel like, mm-hmm. Expressions look way better than they have um, in previous year. The lighting looks really, really good. I think 2K always graphically is a beautiful game, 
you can really see the effect of how pro play in terms of getting animations from in-game footage how much that helps with making the game feel way more authentic somebody asked for about the pace of the game does it feel slow i definitely think the game is faster than it was in 2k23 in terms of if it's at the speed level of 2k22 before they patched it i'm not sure it's that fast but it's definitely faster than 2k23 for shot timings in 2K24, I think that's a mechanic that we have to wait till we can go online and create our own jump shots to really see how bad the timings are. The shooting feels precise. The timing impact doesn't feel as bad as it did in 2K23. Like you don't get random speed ups and random slowdowns. But if you know your shot, there's times where I've seen people green 60%. <laughs> 60%. This game, what? it seems like 2K is really looking to balance everything and allow the. They green in 60s? Yeah, let me run that back. Doesn't feel as bad as it did in 2K23. Like you don't get random speed ups and random slowdowns. But if you know your shot, there's times where I've seen people green 60%. <laughs> 60%. This game, it seems like 2K is really looking to balance everything and allow the skill gap to grow from players who are not comp to comp players. They will be able to do crazy things you have really never seen before in 2K. Delayed greens are still in the game. They, if you look at the footage here, like I green the shot, but you don't see me greening until the ball actually goes in. Like you don't see the animation. Um, and I believe the animation comes at the, the basket. Like there have, I'm sure there's different ones, but the one that I had equipped, it comes at the basket. So on that note, guys, that's all I have to say about gameplay. As you guys know, we're still under embargo. So, so this Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, which is 10 a.m. Central, make sure you tune into this butt boom boom channel. Turn on your post notifications because I will definitely be giving information out about the builder, about the different lives that I made what builds will probably be good for certain situations you're gonna have the cheese off rip especially if you come here so make sure you hit that like button share it with your friends subscribe to the channel turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any information I got about you or in my opinions when it comes to the game I appreciate all y'all for being here but what do I know I'm just a bum and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Good night. All right, boom. W video, W video. But you know what I'm finna do. I'm finna, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna, we finna, we finna go over this. Boomy, hold on. Okay. Walt Beezy. Walt Beezy look like it's really hard to time. Around the screen. That, that that pick and pop looked like it's gonna be a thing. It looked like every time somebody went for a screen, immediately. I ain't gonna lie. Them the moves from Kobe look good. Is it just me or do the players look a lot shorter? Then like the courts look a lot bigger now. Like it look like it's a lot more space. Is it just me? Like like look at this. Alright, so you got to step back, cancel. That screen, that screen and roll is crazy, but look how small they look. Like nobody head is near the the net at all. Like I don't think it's just a camera view. I feel like it's really that small. Like look how loony, like how small he is, and how high he got to get up to get that dunk. Like, let me matter of fact, let me see some, let me see some Shaq gameplay for a second. All right, so this is so this is Shaq. Let me see. All right, so their court looks smaller, but look at Shaq. Now Shaq's a big guy, right? Shaq is huge, but that court looks really, really high. Like, like Shaq is seven foot, right? And if we're talking about a ten foot court, like that don't look like it's no. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't look like it's only three, maybe you know what I'm saying three and a half feet higher than him. I mean. I, I guess let me see let me see how high his arm get I mean his arm gets pretty high he gets off the ground pretty high to do that layup like literally really really high but 
for some reason to me, it just looks, it looks better. Honestly, it looks better. It looks like there's more space out there for you to do things. You see, Looney looks really, really small compared. This back door. Yeah, look, look how, look how high he had to uh, jump. All right. Peyton runs in the shack. Now, I'm not going to lie. Gary Payton, what? 6364? He don't look that he don't look that much smaller than Shaq. Let's see. All right, let's see. I ain't gonna lie, that move right there was crazy. This one, this one right here, let's slow it down real quick, chat. This gonna be like one of the last clips we see. Now remember we was talking about them acrobatic layups and stuff like that. Like um them finishing badges, like well, I'm sorry, scoring badges. Rogier the third comes up under the rim. You know how many times it was really, really hard to hit that layup in 23? And simply because you, some people say, oh, if you equip the right badges, they would go in. Those those were really, really hard to hit. And he hit that against Draymond and them in the paint. So I'm guessing you have to jump at it to contest because she said you can't just put your hands up in the paint unless that player is stagnant. Like he's just standing there. Now, look at this. That's, that's supposed to be good defense right there, but it resulted into a foul. Let's see. What else we got? Let's see. All right. So this is Mellow Ball first look. Drink. Speed it up just a little bit. All right. So this is uh, Plum bringing the ball up. All right, so what I wanted to see more of, like, look at that body up. That body up is crazy. That body up is crazy. Where are you going? All right. All right, I think I think we've seen everything that we need to see, chat. What y'all think? With that being said, guys, this is the first look into NBA 2K24's gameplay. Um, the review by Boom is was done really, really well. Um, I believe that she explained things to us, um, especially things that we've really had a lot of questions about, like um walkbacks, quick stops, um, paint presence, strength. Like, you know what I'm saying answering those questions are are really, really huge for the community. So shout out to her for you know going there, getting this gameplay and explaining it from her point of view, because I trust her her point of view because i play with her and i know how she plays so appreciate that boom boom but for everybody make sure you sub up make sure you hit the like button make sure you go over to boom's channel subscribe to her and um i will see y'all on twitch later tonight all right this is your boy ikc signing out peace King Kong.